Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. People are going to be judged according to their faith in the world hereafter. In the Yomal Kiyan. If I die now, am I going to live on in the grave till the day of judgment? Or will I take him to heaven or live in paradise? I want to know what will happen for what now happen? to that day. Yeah. On this subject, I have spoken at length so many times that uh, it, even a book can be prepared on this one single subject, collecting all these answers, but there will be repetitions, of course, in different angles also, in every answer. In short, because the time is already run out, I'll try to give you the salient features of this phenomenon of people dying and then coming to a form of life again. The, some, I'll, I'll give you a summary of our beliefs. It's not time for me to build all the arguments on which those beliefs are based. When we die, we will not lose consciousness in the sense of the soul which separates from our body. The soul, which is an enigma for the scientists here, is something which, when it parts from the body, the body chemistry immediately begins to decay and return to its constituent substances. And there is no more sense left in the body at all. Does the soul also destroy? It is, is it so dependent on the body that it must live in a constant body with the body or not? According to Islam, in case of other animals, this is right, that when the body dies, the soul, their, their life dies. When the life dies, not the soul, soul is only mentioned in case of, of, of human beings, not in relation to the animals. When the, so, when the life dies out, the body dies, the body dies, life dies, it's one and the same thing. But in case of human beings, the word soul is used, ruh. And this has developed to a degree that it has the capability of becoming an independent entity in itself, a spiritual form which can live after separation. What is the nature of that form, we don't know much. But this much at least scientists have discovered that energy bundles can survive as energy bundles and uh, previously before this discovery they used to poo-poo the idea of believing in souls but they now admit that what we have discovered leads us to the possibilities of some sort of human energy living in an organized form as separated from the physical existence of man. So that is what will happen in the first place. It will have a consciousness of some sort. In the first appearance before God, it will be adjudged briefly and it would know from then on in which direction it is going to develop. Further development of the soul will require years of time a very long period in which it will develop in the form that a body will be created from within that soul and a soul will be created from within that body. That is to say, a separation will be made in that existence so that a center of thinking, a center of entity will be created around the soul, that part of soul which in comparison, which appeared to be uh, material, but it will not be material. So it is only a matter of uh, degrees. God is the ultimate of spiritual refinement. So all those who happen to be at a subsequent, a smaller level or a cruder level, 
they cannot conceive exactly the nature of the, uh, you know, the spiritual nature of God, which defies form, but it does exist. And it is proved through his works. That existence is proved through the works of God. Beyond that we cannot reach. But about the soul, we have some experience here, which can lead us to believe in a phenomenon which may occur after our death. And that is experienced in two ways. Number one, in dreams. In dreams, things happen which appear to be real, but they defy the natural laws of our daily experience. We can walk through walls, we can see things of the past, we can experience visiting countries which we had never visited, and yet feel during the dream as if everything was real. We can meet our dead dear ones of the past and enjoy meeting them and talking to them. And as you are dreaming, you really believe that this is exactly what is happening. But it is not happening in the physical form. Nothing is created. Yet, something like that will happen to the soul. But this happening will be more real than our dreams. So the soul will have the same qualities, not exactly, but similar qualities, as that of our new identity within our dreams. According to Hazrat Masih Mawad al-Islam, the founder of the Anjali community, in his great historic book, The Teachings of Islam, The Philosophy of the Teachings of Islam, he builds this subject further by reminding us that it will not be just a dream existence. A new creation will be made out of the essence of man's personality which has got separated at the end, at the time of his death. That essence will be composed of his views, his thoughts, his attitudes, his goodness or his evil, his acts of defiance of the word of God or his obedience to the will of God, all these make, continuously make, according to Hazrat Masih Mawad al-Islam, a personality within us. So a thing is born within us and we make it. We create our hell or our heaven. And we don't realize it. But he said, one day some evil person may suddenly be awakened. And he would be absolutely exasperated to realize that he has destroyed himself. What he is, is a rotten thing. And the good people gradually gain the realization of their nobility to a degree that that realization becomes the very reward of the nobility itself. So once awakened, the conscious creates, human conscience creates the hell for the evil people and the heaven for the good people. So Hazrat Musim Alayhi pointed out that this is not in vain, this is not accidental. This does not happen in case of animals. There is no such sense of nobility or evil actions and their consequences among the animal kingdom. God has specifically been evolved to such a degree where this, his acts would create a soul in him and his heaven and health would be born out of his own actions. They will be given a form by the act of God, that is the new creation. And it will take a very long time, ultimately. So when the last call is made before the resurrection, by that time all the human souls have, would have acquired a new form, a new body, a new spirit within that spiritual body, and they would be able to suffer if they have been, they will be able to acquire the faculty of suffering of that nature, which is not physical fire here, it is a different type of fire which sometimes we experience through extreme repentance, sense of shame, etc. 
or sense of exp exposure of our crimes. So this is, in short, what is going to happen to us after our death. While we live, we should try to create a healthier soul within us that can only be created if we become true within. Or in the end, let me quote the words of an earlier questioner, if we go for a pure heart. If we achieve a pure heart, such pure hearts will be saved from the hell. And in the words of Hazrat Musim of the Salaam, آگ ہے پر آگ سے وہ سب بچائے جائیں گے جو کہ رکھتے ہیں خدا ذل عجائب سے پیار فائر اٹ از نو ڈاؤٹ بٹ آل سچ پیپل ووڈ بی سیو فرام دیٹ فائر ہو ہیو لو آف گاڈ ٹو لو آف گاڈ ان دیئر ہارٹ ان دا فائنل انالیسس پیورٹی آف ہارٹ اور لو آف گاڈ آر ون دا سیم تھنگ گاڈ بلیس یو تھینک یو ویری مچ السلام علیکم